Hey yo, Duckies, Andy Lip here, back with another OBS tutorial, and this one is another plugin from the one and only plugin lord, savior, god, hero. I don't know. Can I use any more words to describe the man? His beard is glorious as well. This is the one and only Exceldro. Have you ever been so worried about losing all your scenes that everyone's like, oh no, you need to back up, man. And you're like, oh, I always forget to back up all my scene collection and everything like that. Just stop. Exceldro's got you covered. We're gonna get into it. This is gonna back up all your scenes. You're not gonna lose anything ever again. This is beautiful. And did I mention it's super easy to use? It, did I mention it's also automatic? Yeah, put your rock in the stone, let's go. Right, so let's get it all installed. Super easy to do. So straight on the OBS forums, you'll see Scene Collection Manager just here. And he's already updated it. Insane, he's already done an update. Uh, that was due to uh, me asking a decent question of, does it work in portable mode? It now does. Wonderful work, Exceldro. So this is it. It's gonna make a, a small little tool tip that you can get into and back up all your scene collections. It, oh, it's just wonderful how it works. So to get it all installed, we're gonna go to download and you'll know we're, as all Exceldro plugins, you can get the Windows zip file. The installer is for Mac and it's for Linux as well. So I always recommend using installers, but I'm gonna show you the manual. Uh, way and that just downloads it really small file and you'll inside there you'll have OBS plugins folder and data We can just go ahead and copy those and then it's usually in your OBS dash studio folder Which is in your C drive and usually in program files or program files 86 if it doesn't work in one try it in the other All right, that's just how it is <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm so inappropriate. I mean I'm so immature. Uh, program files, and then I'm gonna go to OBS-Studio, and then you just paste it directly in there. Because I've already got it installed, it's gonna ask me to replace, so I'm just gonna cancel that off for now. That is it, it's all installed, ready to go. Let's open up OBS, you got my little face here. I'm in my scene collection main Twitch stream, just here. I've actually got quite a few scene collections, as you can see just here. These are all the stream up products that we make. Uh, and this is how I build them. I build them in OBS and then send them over afterwards. So if I change to uh, the blank scene collection, for instance, like that. So now I'm in the blank scene collection. That's not blank. It's got, actually got something on it. If I go up to tools and you scroll down a little bit, you'll see scene collection manager. So we select that and it will bring it up in the middle of the screen like this. So you'll see all the different scene collections as we previously saw just here and then a backup on the, the right hand side. So it's got the time that it was backed up. So because we've changed to the blank scene collection this second, it actually automatically backs it up. This is usually on as standard. There are settings. So if you go down to the settings bit here, you can turn the automatic backup off. You can rename the backup. If you press the plus, you can create a backup. So we can call this backup one. So you can always go back to different backups, which is wonderful. Uh, we can also remove backups by pressing the, the remove arrow and it'll say, do you want to remove it? Yep, it's gone. If we want to switch to a backup as well, we can just select that backup and press switch down here and it'll reload that backup. So if we've accidentally done something that we shouldn't have done and something's broken, we can actually revert back. This is like the ultimate undo. Uh, which is lovely. It's so easy to use. So scene collection again, you've got settings on the other end if you want to rename your scene collections as well. Also, if you wanted to add or duplicate scene collections as well, which is really nice. And also a scene collection switcher too. And that is pretty much it. It's really easy to use. It works in portable mode and it also works in just the standard OBS mode. So you're probably going to ask, where does this file get stored? So it's usually in your percent, depending on if you're using it in portable mode, it's usually in your app data folder. So you search at the bottom and type in percent app data percent, and then go to your OBS studio folder, into basic, and then into scenes. And in here, you'll have a bunch of different folders just like so. And this is where they'll all get backed up. So I'm not actually in the, this is where yours are as standard. But because I'm using it in portable mode, mine's in a different location. 
for for that if we go to wherever my obs is saved which is just here then i i can go into config into obs studio into basic again into scenes and you'll see all the different scenes just here and then we've also got these folders with all the backups in as well so you can also back up until your heart's content and that is it for the plugin it's so simple and straightforward easy to use i absolutely love it massive thanks to exceldro something that i would tell you all to do right now whilst you're watching this all right it doesn't cost anything all you gotta do log in to obs forums press leave rating and you go boom this is going to save me so many headaches. I really can't type. Thank you, XLDRO, once again. There we go. Submit. Leave him an excellent rating. Doesn't cost anything, guys. Get it done. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you want to support me, then consider joining Patreon or using the YouTube channel members just here from like $1.99 a month. It'll help me make this content full time for you guys. Uh, that's it. Put your rug over the stone and I'll see you in the next video. Much love. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.